A man who dare not down some way is a man whose wife's like to thump his head. The wild wolf. Saying all the jugal this, the jugal that, all the jugal talk this all. Yeah, what is it? Now, why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Ah, you the one posted the notice? Go on then, spit it out. What's it about? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First, my dear witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. I expect deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bobo. Listen, friend. There's an enormous difference between us, but it's not about status. It's about me having two swords on my back, and you having none. So I'll call you whatever I want, and you either deal with that or solve your monster problem yourself. Call. I shall file a complaint with your guild. Mm -hmm. Make sure you address it to customer service. Care Morin, Kedwin. Now talk, before I change my mind and go. Nordlings and their manners. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm -hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence. A strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. Noises you mentioned. Where do they come from? Well, everywhere. But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night. Just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Hmm. Most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in social status, you remember the farmhand's name, maybe? No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return forthwith. Oh, that should suffice with the questions. Now tell me, will you take the contract? Yay or nay? Fine, I'll do it. Need to look around here first. Then I'll want to talk to Madame de Bourbeau. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just... Whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. Drink! Give me a drink! Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe? What the?
bit more light could be useful. something much bigger, something with heavy, wide claws. Cracked Kikimore eggs. Something's been feeding on them. Kikimore eggs should destroy them before the young hatch start prowling the vineyard. Young could hatch any minute. Bleu. What is the meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property. Property's falling apart on its own, what with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? Something dug them, a large creature, 
Also killed a few Kiki Moors down there and destroyed their eggs. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Kiki Moor eggs. Yes, of course. Good work. Indeed, a reward is due. <clears throat> Madame de Bourbeau, I presume? Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean-Luc? Yes. We went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. Jean-Luc went to reconnoiter and never returned. Madame, could you describe Jean-Luc? Tall, exceedingly well built, hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. There is not a peasant that is not well built. They work in the fields all day. He means scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Hmm. Then none, I suppose. But he did wear a pendant around his neck. A silver one. Silver jewelry on a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or that is what he claimed. Hmm. Should be enough to go on. Then what are you fritting round here for? Get to work! Stocks and the whip await those running riot. Our dodgy values peace and quiet. Bread's really stale. Been here a while. Blanket was laid out here. Good vintage. Must have been a special occasion. Someone had a picnic. Footprints or something. Two sets. Track split. Woman turned back here. Man kept going. Something walked through here. Big bastard with a heavy tail. Felled trees. As if something rolled over them. So a Shalemar. Only they dig tunnels and move like that.
left his school symbol on the wall. Clever. Gotta keep a lookout for more. symbols. Where are you gonna lead me? Shalemar's close. Never taken this risk. Must have really wanted the armor. I can probably make really good use of these diagrams. Shale mark droppings. Grubs that feed on them are a delicacy to giant centipedes. Dead end. Shalmar's lair. Gotta be. Drags its victims here. Pretty fresh, some of them. Gonna have to brew some bait. Need the blood of a recent victim some of the mushrooms that grow here. Fresh corpse. Must be Jean-Luc. Crushed ribs, cracked skull. Shalmar did this. No two ways about it. So dependent. A lock of hair inside. Same color as Madame de Bourbeau's. Highly decayed. Partly eaten. Been lying here a while.
spill it within the lair, somewhere near an air current, so the scent spreads throughout the cave. spread from here. Need to spill the bait nearer the tunnel entrance.
Faster. Send the whip away those running riot. The wall. Fix it by the end of the day. You. Can we talk? You'd best be bearing good news. Get on with it. Got rid of the beast that was giving you trouble. It was a Shelmar. Sh Shelmar? Whatever could that be? Mm, kind of like a cross between a mole and a caterpillar. Just big as a barn. Oh. <sighs> uh huh? Well, Master Witcher, you make a poor first impression, but ultimately proved your worth. There. Your reward. As for Jean-Luc, afraid he's dead. Sorry. Who? Oh, him. Trivial as losses go. I shall soon find another to take his place. Right. After all, he is just a peasant. Not a monsieur de blah blue blah. So long. A tip of the hat to the tourney's victim.
here for good. didn't kill him, bled to death afterwards. Hmm, what have we got here? No chance this letter wound up here by accident. Notes clear. Someone's out to sabotage Coronada. Shame I don't know who. Though I could still find out if I keep looking.
camps abandoned, but a lot of this damage is recent. Guess I arrived just a little too late. Should look around still. Man, bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile too, judging by what ripped his throat open. Signs of a fight. Paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot though. Hmm, aerial attack, must have been. Draconid, gotta be. Maybe a basilisk? Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. You'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter. And quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look after it? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. You post those warnings? Indeed. To prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. Hmm. Pay the victim's family's compensation? Why? These lands have been my family's for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill or destroy. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for their loss from my own coffers. Hmm. Your coffers? Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by your beast? Naturally, I cannot revive the dead, but I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crowns, this unfortunate merchant's family, to be duly indemnified as well. Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. When roe deer grew scarce, Basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the Witchers. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But Yocast's mate passed on, alas. Yocast? Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Yocast was brooding then. Two eggs that she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. Who exactly are you? And how do you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum, as family legend has it. A female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest, where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. Malarkey. To be sure, but beautiful malarkey it is. Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea, but you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself, then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints. Mentioned two merchants. So I might also look for the other corpse.
basilisk scales are usually thicker, not nearly so fine. Could be more sensitive to fire, this one. Alas, it is true. Your cast has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. Strange. These burn marks. Beast venom make them? Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. A wound from a sterling basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Busted barrels. Contents spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Used to treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Yo Coco is so very curious. Strong scents especially intrigue her. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. Busted barrels slimed with venom. Hallmarks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two scents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her at all? Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. Who knows what would happen? I see unforeseeable consequences down the line. Simply refrain from provoking her. Harm her not, and she too will leave you untouched. I've long suspected they do it on purpose. Sent their goods. They seek to lure the Basilisk to destroy their wares. It allows them to demand compensation from their assurers. Poor man. A horrid death, truly. Strength's gone. I wonder if I can get the rope from the shelf again. My head is so, so bad. I cannot hold my tool. To be honest, every last man Jacques in these parts has but wine and women on the brain. Drink! Give me a drink! Oh. Works hard on the nerves, eh? That's why you're so great. Greetings, <coughs> Show me where you at. Oh. 
Ooh. Not even a draft horse will talk without some carrot to move it. Hey! Can't welcome! Pull one over on me, Witcher. I can see you And hungry. decided to act on the urge. Costs be damned. Diagrams have a sad history, but I'll make good use of them. Slower. <laughs> 